Hey guys. Hi friends. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. It's Friday. TGIF. TGIF. Right? Thank goodness it's, it's Friday. Friday. I know. I've gotten to where I love the weekends. I cherish oh. them. Oh my they're gosh, my, I take a deep breath and sleep late on Saturday. Time. Oh my gosh. You could be with all of them. You could be with Jeff. That's uh -huh. <laughs> but guess what, guys? We won. This is a big day here. We celebrate, as you probably saw the video earlier, we celebrated Leah's birthday, and that was a blast. A blast. And all of our makeup is messed up. Oh, Everybody. yes. It's all okay. But we want to share part of our work family with you guys because you're an integral part mm -hmm. of why we're all here. And I was just sharing with them at lunch how blessed we are because we have the most incredible, loving, supportive, yes. faithful, loyal customers. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Becky, was it not the most fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the, the whole thing for her, for her, I think, Leah, to see Lecrae say her name and to sing to her was a blast. She said, I'm going to be processing that for like two years. Yeah, so fun. <laughs> I had a blast doing it and getting it ready. So anyway, but guess what? Look here. We have found out there's so many people that love insects. That's a dragonfly. I do love dragonflies. I mean, it's like he could have a name. It's just he's so cute. Oh, I gotta go the right direction. Look at this butterfly. Butterflies, beetles, grasshoppers, mm -hmm. bumblebees, All ladybugs. Dun, Look at dun, this. Dun, dun, dun. Look at this. And a bee right in the middle. Love it. They're big. Look at this. They're large and in charge. Aren't they? They're so fab. Yeah, they're So great. fab. We are going to show you how today you can make these adorable dinner plates. Dinner plates. Mm -hmm. Dessert plates. You can do, these are larger, but we do have some dessert plates, but you, I guess it would depend on the size. Yeah. You could do it off com, uh, composition, off yeah. to the side. off register. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But even off to the side, compositionally, kind of like we did the flowers. Yeah. So. Okay. So it's. Doesn't it's, matter what size you use. So, um, oh, Gretchen, what a sweet word. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Laura, it's like. You're killing me. I say, I tell Gene that all the time. You're killing me. Like when he'll <laughs> say something. I'm like, anyway, we get excited. Um, isn't the butterfly yummy? Look at this. Look at that. There's look at the multiple detail. butterflies oh my gosh. and moths. Yes, look so at that. Funny. And um, I'm just, I love it. So here's what we're going to do. Michelle's going to show you how you can make these great looking plates from Target. Mm -hmm. We love doing Target hacks. So look at this. Whoop, I got to go this way. There we go. Look at this. Are these the best? They're so great. So we're going to show you how you can make your own dinner plates with these, um, with our brand new stencil of our insects. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to show you, because I love my thank you cards, and um, I'm going to show you how to create a, an adorable thank you card with the insects. Mm -hmm. um, I mean her stationery. All, I, I do. I she love loves it. it. I do love it on my stationery. And so, um, can you color the butterflies? Absolutely, Absolutely. you can. We were oh talking about that. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Are you mm -hmm. going to, um, maybe I need to do that on my stationery. We did a two-tone on this. So we did the gold and then the black off register on top of it. But you could absolutely do the black as the base and then watercolor or color in your butterfly wings. You They'd could be gorgeous. Even, you could even blend it. Mm. Couldn't you? Mm -hmm. You don't have oh, to do yeah. the black as a base. No, you could do... Blend it? Should we do that? We could try it. I have I have the little plates. I didn't bring them, but I can go get them. Dina's like, that would be awesome. No, I just mean with the ceramic paint. And just blend them. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, we're live. Michelle's like, could you share that with me before we go live? <laughs> I'm like, I could, could we go talk get about more it? things. Could we talk about it just a little bit, please, Amy? This is so, how you work with a creative. She so, can't help herself. <laughs> yes. I'll maybe. Um, well, Caroline, you need to call the office. I will, I will just tell you guys. Our sale, our 99 shipping sale went crazy. I'm sure it did. It was crazy. So they are 
busy. They're very, very busy. So bar busy. When I'm telling you, um, when I'm telling you that on day one of the sale there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of orders, I ain't telling you the truth. So they're back there packing as fast as they can. So give it some patience. It'll be leaving, I promise. All right. So uh, we're going to be showing you how to create these plates with this brand new stencil. And I'm going to be showing you how to make some stationery. So which do you want? I want the grasshopper. Carolyn, our phone number is 901-547-1448. I don't remember it by heart anymore. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So I think, <laughs> look at this. Tell me, okay, guys, tell tell us, um, which should I do on my stationery? Mm -hmm. I know what Michelle. I think I know. I'm what doing Michelle the grasshopper. Wants. You are doing the grasshopper. I am doing the grasshopper. Oh, because, because I think it'll fit. Her plate. Yeah. Look at that. So We've that got way. We've butterfly, dragonfly, beetle, and. It'll finish up with grasshopper. Yeah. I love that. So All right. Grasshopper's so mine. Dina, there, I'm, you can I'm have any other options. The bee. I, I'm with you. I love the bee too. I Look do at too. This. It's really great. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do we have our scissors? Yes, ma'am. Bee. Do you want to cut me the bee? I will cut you the bee. Okay, I'll take the bee and the butterfly. How about that? You want me, so you want me to just cut it across this way? Yeah, you can cut so them both. So you can have them both? Me. Yes. Well, necessarily, people don't really need to see you cutting, but here's the deal, guys. If you've never watched us before on a Facebook Live, when you pop on here, please say hey, and your name is going to go into a drawing. We are going to give the stencil away, and Yay! we're going to ship it to you. So now she cut these, so look, now I have mine. I'm just going to cut this whole row because... Those antenna are kind of close together. I want to just show everybody. Look at this. Look at the detail. Look at the no, detail on that. They're unbelievable. That is unbelievable. And look at the detail up. on that. Like it's not like we made it all pretty and then hey, it doesn't Patty show from up. Buffalo. Hey Claudia. Hey Robbie. Thank you so much. Look at that. Is that not so beautiful? I love it. And it's where when you do it on the stationery, it can look so incredible. Mm -hmm. Even look at the detail on that bumblebee. He's pretty fat. He's great. But do y'all love insects like we do? Aren't they cute, Carrie? Hey, guys. So, love bugs. Aww. That's what we should have called. We should have called love the stencil bugs. the love bugs. Um, I've been, oh, Patty, they're absolutely fabulous. Kathleen, thank you so much. You're just such such a sweet encourager. So, here's the deal, guys. Um, yes, I would love that in a children's room on Littlewood plaques. So, we are... Um, we are going to give this away. So all you have to do is share the video and tag three friends. And your name goes in for the drawing. All day today, all day tomorrow, all day Sunday, Monday afternoon, they're going to make the announcement of the winner of the stencil. So, and it's a big stencil. It's this, 12 by 18. Yes. So but you can cut them it's all up like this. And, oh, you know what? The bird and branches, I think, will be back in Ooh. stock next week. I love that one. And I don't have it yet. Oh, it's it's pretty fast. Not in my personal Hey, stuff, Alice. Though. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Karen. Hey, guys. All right, so I, we're going to turn this down. Please continue to say hey. And remember to share and tag three friends. Mm -hmm. So we're going to turn this down because we're going to show you how we're both doing this. Our 99 cent shipping ended this morning at 9. It ended today. It did. It ended today. Sorry, Charlie. And the people in the shipping department are going. Thank you, We're Lord. having a party. <laughs> Sorry, like, how and are our customers are going, no, no, we want it. So, um, yeah, we love birds. It's so funny. We were talking about it. I told Michelle, I love insects. She loves birds. I love birds. Insects are classic. They have been since the 17th century. Um, insects have been used on everything from porcelain to decor to pictures, art, everything. Um, I, I just love it. I think hey, it's Karen, because nature is time. Mm. Oh my gosh! Totally. You know, like, I mean, you can you can incorporate it with a whole bunch of other stuff. Absolutely. Oh, Karen. All right. So let's turn this down. Continue. Um, continue to say hey as we're going to show you how to create these projects. You got it. Doesn't want to well, let go. Jean's Jean helped me. There Tighten we go. It. Yes. So that way it's not wobbling. <laughs> not as bad. We tightened it. Now it's not so easy to maneuver. I love that. So that way they can kind of see. Absolutely. 
Well, so the way that we did these is we did gold first. Then I'm going to take you through the gilding process, which is what we did on the edge of these plates. And then we'll come back to do the black over the gold after it's had a little bit of time to dry. So I am using the gold metallic um, ceramic paint from a maker studio. If you've Which never watched this before, our too, launch, right? Um, yes. And if you've not watched this before doing this, we are, we're working with our adhesive stencils that you can use on um, paper. You can you don't have to defuzz them. You can use it on the plate like Michelle is doing. Just trying to get my paper. Which off, ceramic right? paint is geared and created for glass, ceramics, um, porcelain, and it is a no-bake formula, but we always say if you want to cure it faster, you can bake it in the oven when you're done with it at 350 degrees and um, do it for about 20 to 30 minutes and then just turn your oven off and let it all um, cool off together. Don't take it out of the oven. And that'll help it cure faster. Um, I'm trying to get that just a little bit closer so they own. can see. Okay, now with our ceramic paints, y'all, they dry quickly and you don't want them to dry inside of your stencil because um, they'll clog up your mesh. So I'm gonna peel this off and then we're gonna, oh, he's so fun. He's I love great. him just in the gold. Okay, and I am just gonna, I'm gonna show you guys this step. Really quick. We like to try and show you guys when we clean our stencils. So I'm just laying it in water that I have over here to the side and using my fingers to make sure that I get all of the ceramic paint out of the mesh. If it stains the polymer or stays on like the gray part of the stencil, no I'm not worried about it. I just wanna make sure that my mesh is cleared out so that I can continue to get a really crisp design um, the next time I use him, which won't be too long from now. So we're gonna let him dry. And I'm gonna move this over while we're letting gold grasshopper dry. I'm gonna show you guys how we gilded the edge of the plate. And I'm over here working on the same insect stencil where Michelle's doing it on ceramic with mm -hmm. the ceramic paint. You can use the stencil and yes. use it with the art. I'm using, I mean, with the ink. So I'm using the gold ink. Look at this. So pretty. Guys, look at that. That never gets old to me. Never. Oh my Every gosh. time I love peeling it. Yes, I love that. You wanna pop that in the water? I would love to. All right. Can it sit in there or do you need it back? Um, no, I'm okay right now. Okay. I, lo I love the simplicity of that. Oh, now, I, do too. I think I may, I've got another stencil that I'm just gonna do some small words down um, in the lower right hand corner, but in that fab. Let's the people that were wanting to be able to see what that bee looks like. That's a very classic, mm. classic, classic mm -hmm. card. Love that. Okay. And how cute would it be if we used the um, font that we have, like a smaller font, and just write kind under it? Yeah. I, was, I love that. That new was be kind. Yes. Is that what you were going to do? Yes. <laughs> Great minds. Great minds think alike. Great minds think alike. This is what happens when you put us together. That's right. All right, friends, I am using a Maker Studio gilding size and an artist brush, and I am going to just um, go around the rim by hand, and I'm not worried about it going too much over. I just want it to be um, an accent on the edge of my plate, and it's hand done, so it's not going to be perfect, and that's part of it being artistic. Guys, as you pop on here and you see us working, we're making these gorgeous plates and cards that have our new insect designs on it. We really encourage you to share the video and tag three friends, and then that way your name goes in for a drawing and we're gonna be giving this away. And so if you've never gilded plates before like Michelle is working on, it, guys, it's so easy. And it's so fun. And it turns out amazing. Yeah, it really kind of does. Takes it to the next level. And I will admit, I was totally intimidated with gilding when I first 
like when Amy said something about, well, then we're going to learn how to gild. I'm like, oh, we're going to what? What is that? I love it now. <laughs> yes, it's too. So fun. It's too fun and too easy. And you, you can't let that hinder you. Yes, I am so glad that I did not stay fearful of gilding because I love knowing how to do this process. Gilding size is glue for the leaf to adhere to. And it is water-based and you need it. You can't just use any glue to put leaf on. Now, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do as I'm, I'm working on this butterfly. I'm gonna come in and just kind of lay down some color here and there because the butterfly would be gray dated everywhere like as far as his color and I'm just going to take this brush and lay it around like this so that way when I come back and actually start spreading it it'll be blended so easy You may want to come over here in the screen so that way they can I, see you. I can't see my gilding size on the white plate. <laughs> That's my problem. I have it so close to my eyes so I can see it. It's time to go to the eye doctor. I love it. It's like we're here, we're working. Y'all are like, y'all are so quiet. It's where we're, we're now, then we get into it. That's right. We do. It becomes like you kind of get in the zone. Guys, if you've never worked with our stencils or our ceramic paint or inks or whatever before, they're very addictive and they're so they much fun and they're very therapeutic. We're learning more and more about how therapeutic crafting is Absolutely. for everyone. I think that's why I loved it so much as a child. Because it was therapeutic. Was there, what do you need from me? Nothing. I'm letting my gilding size sit for just a minute. It needs to come to tack. And it can take five to 10 minutes. It's got an open time of mm, about an hour, but usually I try to work with it way faster than that. You can kind of blow on it. You don't want to use a hair dryer. No, it dries it too fast. Too fast. Okay. You have spreaders too. I do have spreaders. That's gonna be so pretty. Mm. Yeah. Can you see what Amy's doing? I don't know if you're in the shot. Oh yeah, there you are. Oh. So I just came and like kind it, of like blotched here and there. I did make sure there was some symmetry and now I'm just kind of coming back and blending it. I want to make sure I've got enough blue because that's really more the color that I was kind of going, going for. for. Gosh, that's pretty. Mm. Yeah, so pretty. It's bringing all new meaning to a handmade card. It can write a sweet note on that never goes out of style. That's right. It's just a beautiful classic way of really writing something. They don't want to hear a message that somebody else wrote. They no, want to they hear what you hear have to words. say. Yeah. Cards are such a sweet way to tell someone how much you love them. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Love it. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Love the color be honest with you what I want to do I want to come back and add some gold over it I'm gonna wash this and I'm actually gonna come back and do gold leaf okay. over my my butterfly I wanted that to show underneath so I'm gonna need this to dry and then I'm gonna come back and do size over it allow the size to come to tack and then I'm gonna lay the gold leaf and then burnish it away mm -hmm. so you'll see the iridescent colors as well as the gold leaf Mm -hmm. on my um on my stencil i love that i, I need to look it. at some words 
Okay, mine has come to tack, yes. So I am going to lay my gold leaf. Now, leaf comes in a sheet that's six by six. Um, you get a gold leaf pack like this, and it comes in a six by six like this. And I have cut mine into smaller pieces because I don't need a big, huge piece of leaf. I don't want to waste it. I just need a little bit. So I am working in strips. Could I have the scissors? Absolutely. Can I? I'm sorry. Thank oh, you. it's fine. And I am going to pull back the tissue part and then hold the leaf with the tip of my finger and I'm going to lay it on this edge. And then just lay it down, burnish it with the um, rest of the packet. It's, guys, this is so easy. Mm -hmm. I promise. It really is. It's so addictive if you've never done it before. It really, and it can take your plates, your glasses, you can etch mm. a glass and then do the edge of it where it's done in gold leaf. Yes. So I'm just gonna continue to lay leaf all the way around the lip of the plate. And then I'll show you guys how to burnish it off with a chip brush. I hope everybody's Friday is going great. Yes. What do you guys have planned for the weekend? Hit it's us spring. up and tell us what you're doing. I wonder who's gardening this weekend because I know a Me. lot of people are taking. Me. Me. <laughs> yes, Amy's definitely. They've been adding bushes and all kinds of things at their house. Yes. Landscaping all the things. Yes, we're all into plants, flowers. You know, I love the fact. Now, had you already put the black on there? This is the the one that we had already had done. And gotcha. I just held it so that I could let the other one dry while I did leaf. Gotcha. This I is love that. Beetle. I love that. But we're about to put some black on our grasshopper. Oh, uh-oh. Mine. <laughs> You're like, I just dropped mine. Okay, this is the last section of leaf that I'm going to need on this little section. How far? Let's say close. Yeah. Okay, that way you can see that. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So fun. It takes it to a whole new level. This edge right here and just pull that off. Okay. So I have a chip brush and I'm just going to lay my leaf down you're still kind of burnishing mm, absolutely I'm just lightly and I'm going the direction of the plate because I do want to really lay it down right now I'm not trying to pull it off at this moment I'm just trying to get it to really lay into that size and these are these are Target plates guys yeah. so you can go to the Dollar Tree Absolutely. You can go to Target, you can, and we can get very inexpensive plates and customize them to where they look absolutely fabulous. Like right. you got them. John Darian is one of my favorite shops in New York. He would totally have plates with beetles and dragonflies mm -hmm. and grasshoppers on them. But these guys, if they were in his shop, they'd, they'd be, be 30 probably, or $40 a piece. Oh no. More than that? Uh, oh, like $88. Oh my word. But there, he's all about insects and oddities like this. Oh my gosh, they'd totally be like $88. Ooh. So we're here at a maker studio, we're all about crafting a beautiful life. Something that you can do that is inexpensive to create. Absolutely. But that it looks expensive. Absolutely. It looks like something that you bought at a really high-end home decor store. And then of course, all your friends are gonna be like, this Where'd is you get like, that? yeah, this is like the coolest. How'd you afford that? That's what my friends will be saying. How'd you afford that? Now, I do think, we talked about this, I would bake it before you do the gold leaf. Absolutely. So we do really suggest, even though it's it's a no-bake ceramic, because a lot of people don't allow it to cure, we say, you know what, just, just go on and pop it in the it. oven, bake it for 25 or 30 minutes. Cure it. 350 degrees, it does cure the ceramic paint. That way it allows you to go on and use it, but please keep it out of the dishwasher. 
Yes. And you don't want to put it in the microwave after you've after put you've, this leaf yeah, on it. Leafed it. Because mm -hmm. it'll go snap, crackle, pop. Right. But you can you'll hand have wash to, you'll it have and enjoy it. You'll leaf. Set a little fire in your microwave. All right, friends. There's our beetle. Look with at that. With his gold edge. Isn't he fun? That's beautiful. That's, you know, it really, to me, it's what Michelle and I were talking about before when we went live. It takes it to a whole new level. It makes it look expensive now. Yes. Totally expensive. Look at that. Like China. And we can get these plates for a dollar. Absolutely. I love, 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 love. So now I've got my butterfly, my beetle, my dragonfly. And now we're getting ready to give the grasshopper his, his color. Color. So that way you can see, we did them off register. That was the whole part of doing the gold first and doing the black on top. But you can do these in other colors. I told Absolutely. Michelle, I would actually love these in a red. I love them. We're gonna pray that he's dried enough. Okay, we're kind of pushing it. We, are we really need, it. we need to allow him to dry at least an hour, hour and a half yes. before we do this. But we're introducing our brand new insect stencil, and we wanted to be able to show you how you could use it and make some adorable um, plates. But guys, these little insects, they would look adorable on so many different things. Now, we did the gold first. So Michelle is doing it, it's what off register. You don't put it on the same exact plates. You just kind of get it either a little above or a little below. So you see the gold showing underneath. This is actually- And I'm on the struggle bus trying to do this today. There we go, that's better. There you go. There we go. I'm really struggling. <laughs> I was like, man, having a hard time laying him down. And I am gonna use just our black ceramic paint just like um, I'd done before with the gold, we put it on a little glass tray just so that I can get it up on my um, artist brush easily. And I'm going to paint it on just like I did the gold. This is so addictive. It and there's really so is. many of you that have Etsy shops sell things that you have a booth in an antique mall. If you don't, this might be a great new business for you. Absolutely. Because these are very inexpensive plates that you can customize and make them look like a bazillion dollars. Absolutely. Now you didn't thin that with water. I did not. It's straight. It's straight. Mm -mm. We are just using it straight up. Um, I've got a little bit more control when I'm using the brush than when I'm using the spreader when I'm working on a surface that's just slightly rounded. Personally, so do you like the brush oh, with ceramic paint instead of a spreader? With ceramic paint, I do prefer the brush. So that's a personal preference. I mean, I've used both and I like both. Yes. If I'm working on a larger surface with the ceramic paint, then I want the spreader because it goes like Quicker. I can do it so much faster. You do need to oh. work fairly fast with the ceramic paint because it's so thick. Mm -hmm that you're gonna have better luck. Look at well, he was dry enough. He was dry enough. I did not peel the gold off. Here's the other thing, guys, too. He's he's adorable. One, once it starts to dry, <laughs> that you can see, it the literally detail. has, because of the detail, it has a lot of texture to it. Yes, I it's love really kind that of fab. about them. Oh my gosh, I do too. Um, where it actually kind of makes it feel like if it like was... Like it was hand-painted. Yes, like it was... Well, it kind of is hand-painted. They are hand-painted. Like, it's really unbelievably cool. You can see the detail on that. Isn't that fab? So, you what we did... You can feel the detail. Yes, you I can. You can feel the detail. That's a so, what we thing. did, we just took our inexpensive little dollar plates. We gilded the edge. You can go back and you can do hashtag replay. We gilded <laughs> the edge with gold, which we do have here at a maker studio that you can just go to the website with the size and the gold leaf, and our brand new stencil with our insects, where we did the gold first, you you pull it just aside just a little bit, so it's what's called off-register, 
and then um, then do the black ceramic paint on top of it. Be sure and let the gold dry for about an hour. It really is. Michelle pushed it, and it turned out great. I totally pushed it, but, but it, it may not always. <laughs> it turned out great. These would make great decor items, too, to be able they're to decorate so in your good. home. Yes. They're so cute. With These just... would be so fun, like propped up in a bookshelf. Totally. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I was talking about with decor items. Absolutely. You can get plate hangers and hang these up with your pictures. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jennifer. So. I love them. I, we, I'm enjoying. I love All that. Fun. Beautiful, fun bugs. bugs. Woohoo! I love that. Love bugs. Amy really does. I love bugs. I love bugs. Insects. I think they're just so classic, so elegant, and so fun. So, this is our new stencil. That way we wanted to introduce you. It's one of these classic things. This is definitely needs to go in your DIY pantry that you have where you do all your stencils and all your projects. Absolutely. This is a definite must-have. We hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I hope you go back and watch the video of our sweet Leah and celebrating her birthday. Absolutely. It was such a treat for us. We loved it. And as you, as part of our family, we love to share that. And you enjoy that as well, too, guys. Have a fantastic Friday and a great weekend. And we'll see you back here on Monday with a brand new stencil. Bye, Bye guys. guys.